Now we have proceed for display all mobile phone on web page with pagination link, so we have go to product filter view file, and here we have write division tag with class is equal to row and filter data, under this tag we will display mobile phone on web page. For display pagination link, here we have define one more division tag, with attribute ID is equal to pagination link, under this we will display pagination link, which will be made by using code igniter pagination library. Now we have go to jQuery code, and here we have make one filter data function with page as argument, this function will fetch data from product table with filter, and display on web page. Under this function first we have write dollar with division tag class filter data with HTML method, and under this we have write division tag with ID is equal to loading. So when this function has been called then it will first display this tag, and here we can see property of this tag like text align set to center, in background we have display loader image, and height set to 150 pixel. After this we have write action variable is equal to fetch data, here we have defined fetch mobile under this action variable. Below this we have write minimum price variable is equal to dollar with input field id hidden minimum price with value method, so here we have store this field value under this minimum price variable. Same way we have define maximum price variable is equal to dollar with input field id hidden maximum price with value method. So here we have store this field value under this maximum price variable. Now we have write brand variable is equal to get filter function with brand class name. This function will return checkbox value of all selected brand, which we have store under this brand variable. First we have create get filter function with class name argument. Here in class name argument we will pass checkbox class like brand, RAM, or storage. Under this function we have write filter variable is equal to array, under this variable we will store value of selected checkbox. Below this we have write dollar with class name argument with double colon checked with each method, by using this method we can access all attribute of selected checkbox of particular class. Under this function we have write filter variable dot push method, and under this method we have write dollar this with value method. Here by using value method we have fetch value of selected checkbox, and store under filter variable in array format. Lastly we have write return statement with filter variable, this is the output of this function. Now we have go to filter data function, and here we have write ram variable is equal to get filter function with ram class, here we have store selected ram data under this ram variable. Same way below this we have write storage variable is equal to get filter function with storage class name, here we have store selected checkbox value of storage filter which have store under storage variable. Now we have moved to write Ajax request, and here we have write first option like URL option set to base URL function, with product filter controller slash fetch data method slash page argument. Here we have send request to fetch data method of product filter controller, 
in URL we have also send page number also. In second option we have write method which has set to post, here we have use post method for send data to PHP script. In third operation we have write data type, here we can define in which data format, we have to receive data from server, so here we have defined data type. In fourth option we have write data, and in this option we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have write action, minimum price, maximum price, brand, RAM, and storage variable value to server. Lastly we have write success callback function, this function has been called if Ajax request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server. Under this function we have write dollar with division tag class filter data with HTML method, under this we have write with data dot product list, this code will display mobile data on web page. For display pagination link, here we have write dollar with division tag id pagination link with html method, under this method we have write data dot pagination link, it will display pagination link. Now we have go to product filter controller, and here we have write make fetch data function, this function will receive Ajax request for fetch data. Under this function we have first write dollar minimum price variable is equal to dollar this with input object with post method. Under this we have write minimum price variable. Here we have store minimum price data under local variable. Below this we have write store maximum price data under this dollar maximum price variable. Brand data under dollar brand variable, RAM data under dollar RAM variable, and storage data under this dollar storage variable. After this we want to load pagination library under this function, so we have write dollar this with loader class object load with library method, under this method we have write pagination, it will load pagination library under this function. Now we have write dollar config variable is equal array. In this variable we will define configuration for pagination library. In pagination library first we want to define base URL, so we have write dollar config base URL variable is equal to hashtag. This is the full URL to the controller class or function containing your pagination. Second we want to define total rows, which is number that represents total rows in the result set you are creating pagination for. So here we have write dollar config total rows variable is equal to dollar this with product filter model with count all function. With argument like dollar minimum price variable, dollar maximum price variable, dollar brand variable, dollar RAM variable, and dollar storage variable, this method return number of total rows in result. Now in next part we will see how pagination library has been configure, and how to make select filter query function at product filter model. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, Please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, 
Please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.